Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will learn how to query with S3 Select. Scenario for our lab today. You have a CSV file uploaded in S3 that you need to query using S3 Select. Pre-prep for our lab today. Create a sample CSV file with a few records in it. So you could create a very simple file, let's say for zip codes or employee information or you know, pretty much anything else and have five to 10 records in it. That's more than enough. Steps for our lab today. The first thing that we will do is we will review our CSV file. So I have created a sample CSV file on my end. Uh, I will be reviewing that. In your case, please review the CSV file whether it has the header information, what kind of data it has, how many records, et cetera. After that, we will go to S3, to our bucket, and then upload this particular CSV file. Finally, we will select the CSV file, go to actions, and then select query with S3 select. We will give some of our input settings, that is select format, delimiter, and compression type. If your CSV file contains column headers as the first row, then check this particular option. That is to exclude the first line of the CSV data. After we key in our input settings, then we will key in our output settings. And finally, we will run multiple simple SQL queries on our CSV data using these operators. Right, so let's get started. This is my CSV file. So if you see this, the first line over here is the header information. I have a few columns like zip code, latitude, longitude, city, state, population, and medium income. I have eight rows in total. As I said, I have five to 10 rows. And it's a decent size of data, right? I mean, I have Numbers, if you see like both of these columns are numbers, I have text, I have some other decimal figures and I have additional numbers as zip codes over here. So what we are going to do first is that we have reviewed our uh, zip code information. So we have basically completed this step. Now we will go ahead and upload this particular CSV file to our S3 bucket. So this is my S3 bucket my zip code bucket that I have created, right? So I'm going to go ahead and upload my file over here. So click on upload, add files. That's my zip code as CSV. And this file will be uploaded right here. So click on upload. And then if I go back to my bucket, I should be able to see my CSV file. So we have completed these two steps, right? The next thing that we need to do is we need to go and select our CSV file, go to actions, and then select query with S3 select. So we have to complete this third step. So this is my CSV file, actions, query with S3 select. Now we will go ahead and provide our input settings. So we'll provide a format, a format is CSV. This particular CSV is comma delimited. So I've selected comma. My CSV file does include the first row as the header information. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this particular box that is to exclude the first line of CSV data because it does contain the header information or is the header row. There is no compression, so we are good. Now, after we have provided the input settings, the next thing that we will do is we'll provide the output settings. So I want the output in again in the CSV format and it should be comma delimited. Now, if you scroll down, you will see that there is this SQL query box, right? And you can pretty much type your queries over here. So let me just zoom in. Right, so you should be able to see this very clearly. 
So the first query that we have over here says that to select everything from our, our file. And basically that's all columns, but to limit the record set or the data set to the top five records. So we, it should give us a top five records, right? So let us run this particular query. So our query got executed. And if you see, this is the raw format and it's showing us the first five records. If you click on formatted, it will show up as a grid right here. And these five records are similar to the ones that you have here, right? So these are the first five records. Okay, so now let's see if we can execute some other query, right? So one thing I want to bring to your attention is that there is an SQL templates button right here. So click on this and it will basically tell you like, if you want to select the first two columns without providing the column names, instead of that, you provide the column numbers then you can do that. So either copy SQL or append SQL, right? And I'm gonna select this particular SQL, run query. Okay, let me remove the first one from the top. Okay, run SQL. And it looks like it is missing some header information. Okay, let's see if I can remove this and instead of that say zip code and over here what was the second column that we had latitude so let's say latitude and hopefully this should work right so yeah so i believe since we had header information it did not like the it did not like the numbers anyway so it if it does not work with the column numbers give the column name instead, right? Now, uh, which are the other columns that we have? We have city and we have median income, right? So let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and select zip code and median income. So I'm gonna copy this name. I'm gonna remove latitudes from here. Post medium income right there. And now if I will go ahead and run the query. Now this query failed again, and that is because this particular column name has a space in between. So for that, we will have to put this in double quotes. So I think we are good, right? Run query. And this will provide us the results for zip code and median income. So these are our rows right there. Okay, so I think we selected a couple of rows. Now let us see if we can put a where clause, so let's say where, and we will say state ID is equal to California. So remember we have three records for California right here, right, CA, right there. So let's say state ID, right, is, I'll say S dot state ID is equal to CA. Let's run this query. And you can see the three records are right here, both in raw and formatted, right? So these are those three records. So you can see these uh, zip codes and plus their median income right here. Right, okay. So uh, I believe we executed with select, we executed with from, we executed with where, we also executed with limit first. Right, let us see if there are any other templates that we can try. So let us try this particular template, right? So we have an integer. So our median income is a number. So let us say we want to select all rows where the median income is equal to 6037. So we will use this particular template, say append SQL, right? And we will say select staff from so and so cast. And then we will say median income as integer. And here it should be, uh, I think, what is it? 6037, right? Let me remove this one. 
So we are basically selecting all columns where the median income is 6037. So it should show all columns and whatever rows where the median income is 6037. So let us try and run this query. And it should give us those three records. So here, three records and all columns right there in both raw and formatted outputs. Right? So guys, I hope that this was helpful. You can create your own queries and run them. It typically runs with very simple queries, no joins or anything fancy, right? Use some of the basic SQL operators. The good part is that if you have an Excel spreadsheet, you can basically go ahead and directly run a query on that particular Excel spreadsheet. Like in, in this case, it's a CSV format. The other format that is supported is the JSON format. So do try it out on its own. Right, I created a CSE file, a very simple file. You can create your own CSE file and try and execute these queries. And I think, so if you see, these are the supported formats, CSV, JSON, and Apache Parquet. So you can play around with this particular utility. It's pretty good, it's neat, right? And let me know what your feedback is, how, what your experience was. Was this really helpful? Did you use this utility in your day-to-day -day work, right? So do post your comments. And this is it from me today. I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.